Hi, my name is Ben Carter, and in just a minute, you're going to find out about a breakthrough cure in hearing loss that you will not find anywhere else. And you certainly will not learn about this from doctors, the pharmaceutical industry, or the hearing device industry. You will soon discover that, regardless of what type of hearing loss you have, whether it's a result of loud noises or age-related hearing loss, and regardless of what your doctor has told you in the past, there is a natural way to reverse your hearing loss. This breakthrough is based on the combination of scientific studies, tests and experiments that expose the core reason for hearing loss, along with a tonic of natural ingredients that Navajo medicine men have used for centuries to help their people maintain sharp hearing. On this video, I am going to take the mystery out of the ancient Navajo remedy. I will show you how it works and why it works, and I will also show you how it is currently helping over 33,477 people around the world live a fuller life with crystal clear hearing. If you suffer from hearing loss, you will be blown away how you can completely and permanently restore your hearing in as little as two weeks from today. Even if your hearing loss is a result of loud noises, or if it is from aging, this life-changing breakthrough can eliminate the need for annoying hearing aids or expensive cochlear implant surgery. Amazingly, it only requires a few simple ingredients that cost very little that you can put together right now. So be sure to stay with me until the very end of this video because I am going to show you exactly what to do. And you can finally have normal conversations with your friends and family or whoever you want without having to lean in to try to aim your ear at the person or without having to fiddle with any device. And go from hard of hearing to crystal clear hearing in less than a few weeks from right now. Now, right inside this brief presentation, I am going to show you exactly how to use the ancient Navajo medicine man remedy that I am talking about. And I will give you the medical research that reveals why this works. But before I do, I want to tell you how all this came about. Because you are probably wondering, is this really possible, right? After all, anyone you have ever known with hearing loss has always seemed to get worse. And the only way to try to live a somewhat normal life is by getting a hearing aid or having expensive cochlear implant surgery. That has been your only options. That is what all of your friends and even your doctor has always told you. You either need some sort of hearing device or you have to suffer through life without being able to communicate clearly with others. That can leave you feeling isolated and alone. Fact is, without sufficient human interaction, oftentimes people with hearing loss experience depression and that just sets you in a downward spiral that is nearly impossible to pull out of. So if you are feeling skeptical or puzzled by what I am telling you right now, I totally get it. As a matter of fact, most of the 33,477 people who have already used the Navajo tonic felt the same way as you do. But their feelings changed when they tried the tonic for themselves. Mary from Tallahassee, Florida writes, This is amazing. I have had to rely on a hearing aid for over a decade. Without it, it is like trying to communicate with people with pillows on your ears. All I could hear was a muffled distance sound. But I have been using your tonic for three weeks and I can't believe how well I can hear now. Just this morning I was sitting on my back porch and I could hear the birds singing and chirping as clear as could be. Clearer and more natural than with a hearing aid. It was music to my ears. You can't imagine how much you miss simple things like that when you can no longer experience it. Thanks Ben for giving me my hearing and my life back. John from Austin, Texas says, I can hear again. Unbelievable. Do you have any idea how incredible it is to watch a football game on TV and actually hear what the announcers are saying, what the referees are saying without having to blare the volume? This is truly unbelievable. Now my son and grandsons actually don't mind hanging out to watch the game with me. You are a miracle worker, Ben. James from Traverse City, Michigan says, Wow, I am blown away. After years of steady decline in hearing, mostly due to years of working chainsaws and wood chippers in my tree trimming company, I can finally hear clearly again, naturally, without any devices. It is so nice to be able to talk to and actually hear my wife again normally. Ha! I never thought I would say I enjoy listening to my wife, but I do. It is great to be able to talk at a normal tone and normal volume. Thanks Ben for making it possible. Now considering how outrageous these claims are, you probably want to know who I am and how I discovered all of this. Like I said, my name is Ben Carter. I am a retired aerospace engineer. My career has little to do with the story I am about to share with you and little to do with the breakthrough that is related to the Navajo cure for hearing loss, but in some respects it has everything to do with it. You see, my job required a certain level of mental aptitude, diligence, and a relentless curiosity to unravel the many mysteries associated with aerospace. Aerospace involves the study of the design, development, and production of air and spacecraft. So, as you can probably imagine, my work required heightened skills in the areas of research and experimentation. And to that degree, my work experience and those particular skill sets did come in handy. But this isn't really about me. It's more about my wife, Sarah. Seven years ago, Sarah and I were out celebrating our 35th wedding anniversary. We had a lovely dinner at our favorite restaurant. As we were walking across an intersection, I told Sarah, hold on, because over my shoulder I saw a car quickly trying to make a right hand turn and come right at us. But Sarah didn't hear me and she stepped right in front of the reckless driver. When I turned my head around and saw that Sarah was in the middle of the street, smack dab in the path of danger, I leaped in front of the car waving my hands. The car jammed his brakes and sent me and Sarah flying back about six or eight feet. We were a little bruised and sore for the next week or more, but no broken bones, thank God. The thing is that we both knew that Sarah's hearing had been declining for some time, but we never considered that it could be life threatening, at least not until that night. So we decided that maybe it was time to talk to a doctor to see what could be done. 
I knew what he was going to say because I'd already done some preliminary research. And, of course, our choice was the surgical implant or the hearing aid. Sarah decided that she wanted to try the hearing aid because she didn't like the idea of surgery. It didn't take long for her to realize that she didn't like the hearing aid, so she hardly ever wore it. As time went by, Sarah's hearing became worse and worse. This led to frustration and bitterness. She would get so aggravated that she couldn't understand what people were saying. Even when she did use a hearing aid, she didn't seem just right. My once loving, confident, and warm social butterfly had become withdrawn, isolated, lonely, and depressed. Then, about two years ago, something miraculous happened that changed everything. I had stopped in to visit my mother in the nursing home. While I was there, I had to repeat myself a few times because at 87 years old, bless her soul, hearing loss is pretty commonplace. But there was something that she said after I repeated myself for about the third or fourth time. She said, if I only had my grandmother's remedy, I would be able to hear you better. Her saying that sparked a memory of a story that I hadn't heard since I was a young child. This story had been passed through the family for years. I'm not sure exactly when it took place, but sometime in the early 1900s, my grandfather was surveyor for the railroad company. One day, he was hiking back to base camp when he unknowingly walked up the backside of a blast site. The work crew was using dynamite to bust up some huge rocks to clear the path for the tracks. The blast took my grandfather by surprise and left him buried in a pile of stone and dirt, unconscious, with broken ribs and no hearing. The doctor patched him up as best he could. He told my grandmother that grandfather's ribs would heal in a few months and his hearing may or may not come back. He said, give it some time and we'll see what happens. But other than crossing your fingers, nothing could be done. After three months, my grandfather still couldn't hear a thing. So my grandmother wrote a letter to her mom, who was a half Navajo Native American and lived in Arizona. In the letter, she asked her mom, my great-grandmother, if she could go visit her tribe's Hatali, which means medicine man, and ask him what to do. Three weeks later, a package arrived with a bottle that was labeled Remedy and a recipe with instructions for how to use the remedy. As the story goes, my grandfather's hearing was back within a few weeks. After my mom mentioned the remedy, all of this came flooding back to me. I remember the story. I remember hearing about the remedy, and I even had a pretty good idea where the recipe for the remedy was. Believe it or not, it was right under my nose. It was actually in my basement in a box of my mom's things. It was mixed in with a bunch of other recipes that were crammed in my mom's old Betty Crocker cookbook. I was ecstatic. I couldn't believe I had in my hands what could potentially fix my wife's hearing. It was written in Navajo, but fortunately, someone had already translated it to English. I was a little leery about making the recipe and making my wife take it, so I decided that I better dig in and do some research to try to figure out the medical reason why this should work. As I deeply immersed myself into the research, I was shocked at what I found. Once you analyze the chemical makeup of the ingredients, it's amazing how much information that you can find that ties them to experiments that the medical community conducted and continues to conduct, and even experiments performed by the Israeli military on their recruits. Positive experiments that led to profound improvements of hearing. Some of the experiments were for hearing loss caused by aging, and others were based on noise-related hearing loss. But even with all of the evidence that I found that showed me why this Navajo remedy should work, I still didn't have the answer to how it works. Me, being the curious type, I continued my research. At this point, I had spent a lot of time sitting at the computer searching for answers. Thank goodness I'm retired, otherwise I probably would have never made it this far. But as I continued to dig and turn over clues, I found what I believe to be the how in how the remedy works. Here's the thing. Inside your ear, there are these things called hair cells. They actually have nothing to do with hair, though. They're these small cells with protein-filled protrusions. These cells line one part of the cochlea, which is the snail-shaped structure in the inner ear. The protrusions, which bunch together like microscopic tufts of grass, are mechanical receptors that vibrate when struck by sound waves. The hair cells turn those vibrations into electrical nerve impulses, which travel into the cochlear nerve where those impulses are sent to the brain and processed as sounds. Many kinds of hearing loss, including those that are age-related, congenital, or environmental, such as repeated exposure to a loud noise or ear trauma, are actually due to loss of hair cells. And, from everything I've read, the loss in hair cells has always been thought to be permanent. Until recent years, that is. A little more than a decade ago, Dr. Edwin Rubel, professor of otolaryngology, physiology, and biophysics at the University of Washington's Virginia Merrill Bloedel Hearing Research Center, along with the help of his team, made a huge discovery. They found that hair cells do actually regenerate on their own in the ears of birds. This led to years of intense research on hair cells with a wide array of organisms. During this research, scientists found that hair cells naturally regenerate in just about all vertebrate animals, except for mammals such as humans. Rubel and his team, as well as other scientists all around the world, are trying to transfer what they have learned about hair cells and how the cells regenerate in an effort to duplicate a similar process in humans. They have made great strides in hair cell research, and it's quite possible that they will figure out how to regrow hair cells in humans and cure most forms of hearing loss in the next 20 years. But that doesn't help you today, and that doesn't explain the many experiments that were able to produce astonishing results and reverse hearing loss, many of which were double-blind, placebo-controlled studies that were conducted over long periods of time. However, there is a scientific theory as to why certain chemical compounds and minerals that are specific in natural ingredients can in fact improve hearing. The theory is that instead of regenerating the hair cells, certain natural components can heal and strengthen the hair cells you still have. In most cases of hearing loss, there is still ample hair cells existing to provide crisp and clear hearing. 
but the hair cells are usually weak and limp as compared to someone with good hearing and healthy hair cells. To me, this made perfect sense. It explained why the various experiments on these natural compounds have yielded incredible results. It also explained why the Navajo remedy worked so well on my grandfather many years ago. It's not about regrowing and regenerating new hair cells in the cochlea of your inner ear. It's about repairing and strengthening your hair cells that you already have. This was exactly the information and conclusion I was looking for. Now I was pretty certain about the how and the why the remedy would work, but something was still missing. In the back of my mind, I kept thinking, why hasn't anyone connected these dots? Why hasn't this information become mainstream? Why doesn't everyone know about this already? Yeah, I'm a smart guy, but there are a lot of people in this field who spend all of their time researching this. I know I'm not the only one who has put these pieces of the puzzle together. So I started asking questions. I had met a few researchers and scientists while I was conducting my research, so I reached out to them and shared with them my findings. They were not surprised in the least. They admitted that they had the same conclusions, so I simply asked them, why hasn't this been all over the news? Why isn't this common knowledge? The answer that I repeatedly got made me sick to my stomach. Brace yourself, because if you or someone you love is suffering from hearing loss or deafness, you're going to be furious. While these researchers and scientists are good people doing great work, they are only able to do their work because of the funding they receive. The funding pays for their salaries and provides the equipment and laboratories for them to conduct their research and experiments. But the dirty little secret is in who is providing the funding and who owns the rights to their findings. Fact is, the vast majority of the funding of these projects comes from the medical device industry, the same people who create the hearing aids and cochlear implant devices. And from what was carefully, quietly, and cautiously leaked to me is that these companies make the funding contingent on them owning the legal rights to any findings that are made. If they are able to turn the findings into a product that they can make money on, they do it, and that is fine. But here's the slap in the face. If there's a breakthrough that they can't make money on, they still protect their rights with patents and trademarks and so forth. But then they bury it. They protect it so no one else can use it, legally anyway, and they squash it never to see the light of day again. Think about it. If there was a simple way to cure your hearing loss that everyone knew about and everyone could affordably have access to, the $6 billion hearing device industry would no longer exist. They are doing everything in their power to make sure that never happens. They are not going to let their precious cash cow be slaughtered. They are protecting it in every way they can. That includes using the legal system and top-notch bloodthirsty vampire lawyers to their fullest potential. But let me get back to my story. At this point, I was convinced that the Navajo Medicine Man's recipe would have a pretty good chance of helping Sarah. So I went to the grocery store and health food store to gather all the ingredients that the recipe called for. I spent that afternoon preparing the remedy. As soon as it was ready, I took it to Sarah and explained the whole story to her because I hadn't mentioned anything about the Navajo remedy to her and how it came about. I was expecting her to be so happy at the effort I made and fascinated by my grandfather's story and enthusiastic to try the remedy. But that was not the reaction I got. She thought I was nuts. She thought I totally lost my mind. She told me, you're not a doctor. What the heck is that crap? Once she settled down and after we laughed quite a bit, I was able to convince her to at least try it. I knew one dose wasn't going to do anything because the direction said to take it once a day for a minimum of three weeks. And I had to make a batch every few days. But I wasn't going to tell her that. At least not yet anyway. I had to get her to take the first dose. Each day, the battle became less and less, and within a week, she was taking the remedy without question. As each week passed, I noticed that she was more tuned in on things I was saying. I noticed I was repeating myself less and less, but the real proof came when, in the third week, we were watching TV in bed, and she had it at a normal volume and didn't seem to have any difficulty hearing a thing. It was amazing. The next day, I took some of the remedy to my mom. I know it seemed like I used Sarah as a guinea pig, but I didn't want to have to commit to driving all the way over to the nursing home, 20 miles away, every day for three weeks, until I had proof that the Navajo remedy was going to work. Wow. I don't know if I sound more like a bad husband or a bad son. Anyway, my heart was in the right place. After three weeks, my mother had similar results as Sarah. As far as I could tell, she seemed like she could hear perfectly. I would try to trick her sometimes by whispering to her without moving my lips. Mom, can you hear me? Then she smacked me on the head with a newspaper. Yes, I can hear you. Couldn't believe it. The Navajo Medicine Man's Remedy that was buried in my mom's Betty Crocker recipe book for all these years, hidden right under my nose in my basement, actually worked. Over the next few months, Sarah and I shared our findings and the remedy with our family members, and we received a ton of incredible feedback. Aunt Edna was ecstatic that she didn't have to wear her hearing aid to watch Jeopardy now. And Sarah's cousin Jimmy said he's getting much better tips at his part-time bartending job now that he doesn't have to make his customers constantly repeat themselves. The family stories go on and on, but I wanted to do something more with the remedy. I wanted to make it available to anyone and everyone. So I asked Sarah what she thought. She felt the same as I did, but she was concerned about the legal ramifications that may pop up. That was a wise concern considering that the hearing device business is huge and growing and the corporate fat cats would go to great lengths to make sure nothing got in their way. Think about it. In America alone, 48 million people suffer from hearing loss. That's nearly one in every six people and hearing aids can cost as much as $2,000 and the cost of a cochlear implant surgery can be downright mind-boggling. 
If you add up the evaluation, surgery, device, and rehabilitation, cochlear implant surgery can cost as much as $100,000. That's insane, especially when you consider that there's natural ingredients in the Navajo Medicine Man's Remedy recipe that cost practically nothing that can cure hearing loss and make everything sound normal again. And it only takes a few weeks for everything to sound crystal clear and for you to be able to hold normal conversations without missing a word or feeling like you're miles away. So with all that taken into account, we decided that we had better consult with our lawyer before we did anything. And it's a good thing we did because he pointed out some scenarios that we hadn't even considered. He also confirmed our suspicions that it was highly likely that the sharpshooter lawyers of the hearing device industry would be eventually gunning for us. Even though the Navajo Medicine Man remedy has been used for centuries, long before the United States even existed. And in my mind, I can do whatever I want with the remedy since it was given to my family and I do have Navajo ancestry in my bloodline. But fighting this in the court system would take years and probably bankrupt me long before I even had a shot at winning the battle. Sarah and I certainly had a lot to think about. We could forget about it and comfortably ride off into the sunset, living out our retirement as we always had planned and prepared for. Or we could go for it and risk losing everything we had worked so hard to build. We could lose our life savings and even our home. After a week of deep discussion and plenty of umming and ahhing, we decided that this remedy landed in our laps for a reason. And it wasn't just to be dumped back in a recipe book to be lost again possibly forever. We knew that by publishing this remedy, we could improve the quality of life for people all around the globe and we could make a huge impact on the world. So we decided to go for it, but we wanted to do it smart. We wanted to protect ourselves from the legal leeches that were certain to come after us. We decided to put the remedy recipe into a book and sell it at an extremely affordable price. In the book, we also tell you about the Navajo people, their culture and traditions. The book even tells you about different herbs that the Navajo people use to heal various ailments. It really turned out to be an amazing book that is overflowing with value. And by selling the book, along with the incredible Navajo Remedy that has reversed hearing loss for over 33,477 people and counting, even at this insanely low price, we have been able to establish a decent legal defense fund. It's a good thing we did, too, because it didn't take long for the legal battles to begin. These vampire lawyers are diligently working to shut us down. Now they are trying to get a court injunction to force us to take the side down, even before our arguments have been heard in court. And if they do succeed in getting the injunction, we will have no choice but to comply and no longer be able to offer our book and the Navajo Hearing Restoration Remedy. That reminds me, I never told you the title of the book. It's called The Navajo Medicine Man Remedy That Will Reverse Your Hearing Loss. Here's what some of the people have said about the book. Jane from Bainbridge Island, Washington said, Fascinating read. I'm so glad my son got this book for me. I have a greater understanding for the Navajo people and a deeper appreciation for their culture and traditions. But I have to admit, the thing I liked the most was experiencing my hearing return. Week by week, day by day, I can hear things more clearly and communicate with friends and family members like I could in my youth. I'm so glad your mother reminded you about the remedy. Thanks for having the courage to share. John from Akron, Ohio said, This is unbelievable. My hearing is back, completely back and clearer than ever. I just bought another copy of your book and emailed it to my brother in California. I know I probably could have just sent him the one I already bought, but I want to make sure you keep the vultures, the lawyers, off your back. Plus, it will be worth it for me to Skype with my brother without annoying the crap out of each other. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. Julie from Charlotte, North Carolina said, You have got to get this book in Barnes & Nobles or Amazon. This is downright incredible. In the past two months, I've witnessed my mom, dad, and two aunts regain their hearing and regain their lives again. It's crazy how confining hearing loss can be. My mom, especially, went out of her way to avoid social situations because she was actually embarrassed about her hearing loss. She hated having to ask people to repeat themselves, and she hated faking that she knew what they were saying when she really didn't. She felt like she was the butt of a joke, so her answer for that was just to avoid human contact, and that's just not healthy. But now she's back, and she's talking up a storm, and from what I can tell, she hears perfectly. Thanks, Ben and Sarah, for being so brave and making the Navajo Remedy available to us. Imagine, in just a few short weeks, you or your loved one could shed the stigma and displeasure associated with hearing loss and finally get your hearing back without any gadgets or risky surgery. What would that be worth to you? Would it be worth $300? Probably. That's the price my lawyer and accountant thought I should set the price for the remedy and book at. And that's far less than the cost of a hearing aid, and a heck of a lot less than the cost of cochlear implant surgery. Consider your options. $300 should seem like a steal to you. But like I mentioned before, I'm not in this for the money. I have everything I need in life. My retirement is set, my house is paid off, I am happy with everything I have. My goal was to make the remedy available to as many people as possible, while also securing legal protection for me and Sarah. That's what this is about for me. I wish my mother had mentioned this years ago, but I'm sure she forgot about it as I did. It's a freak thing that she remembered it out of the blue when she did. If I had known or remembered the remedy years ago, Sarah and I may have avoided our life-threatening incident that left us bruised and sore for weeks. And that's why there is no way I could ever think about charging you $300 for this, or $200, or even $100. Instead, if you act today on this special website that you are currently on and decide to change your life and begin hearing clearly again, naturally, without the ball and chain of hearing devices or risky surgery, Sarah and I want to give you the entire book along with the Navajo Remedy recipe and all of the instructions you need for just $37. That's it, just 37 bucks. So all you have to do to get my book, 
the Navajo Medicine Man Remedy that will reverse your hearing loss and the remedy recipe now. Just click the Add to Cart button that's directly below this presentation. You will then be taken to the completely secure, triple encrypted checkout page that a top-notch systems operator has set up. And once you complete your checkout, you'll have instant access to the entire thing through the special members only section of the website that we've set up. You'll be able to open the book and get access to the Navajo Remedy Recipe. You'll be able to access everything right on your computer, tablet, or smartphone, or download them and print copies so you can take them with you. So, in just a couple minutes from right now, you can begin the process to correct just about any hearing loss issue. You can expect to see improvement in hearing loss in just a few weeks. There is no risk. The Navajo Remedy is made up of all natural ingredients that you can find at most grocery stores or health food stores. But the remedy must be taken once a day until your hearing has clearly returned. And then on occasion to keep your hearing sharp, you will find the instructions in the book. And there's no financial risk either. I do not want you to feel obligated whatsoever. If the remedy doesn't work for you as expected, let me know and I will give you your money back right away. Your investment today will be covered by my 60 days rock solid 100% money back guarantee. If at any time in the next 60 days you are not completely satisfied with the results, just email me at the address I'll provide in the private members area and I will refund you all your money. No questions asked. I want you to feel 100% comfortable in this decision. In fact, with our rock solid guarantee in place, you should consider this a test drive. By placing your order for my book, The Navajo Medicine Man Remedy that will reverse your hearing loss today, you are merely saying, I'll try it. That's it. Just try it. That's all I ask. Click the Add to Cart button below. Get the book and the Navajo Remedy today. And remember, you have six full weeks to try it out. Imagine how the quality of your life will improve as it has for Sarah, my mom, and so many others once the gift of hearing is restored. Do not wait another minute. Click the Add to Cart button below. Get the book and the Navajo Remedy right now. You will have six full weeks to try it out. But you need to act now. As I mentioned earlier, if the court injunction that the medical device industry is lobbying for goes through, we will be forced to shut this site down and you will not have access to the Navajo hearing loss remedy. If you or a loved one is suffering from hearing loss, there's absolutely no time to waste. You need to act now. All it takes is clicking the Add to Cart button below, but you have to do it fast. This presentation is coming to an end, and this website may not even be up in a week from now. But just so you know, if you have any issues with the remedy, or you need to get in touch with me for any reason, you'll have my personal email address. And even if I am forced to shut the site down and discontinue offering the Navajo hearing loss remedy, I will continue to stand by my guarantee. So the choice is up to you. There is no hard feelings if you decide to leave this site without getting the book and remedy. But just remember that the next time you are straining to hear the TV or have a normal conversation with a friend or family member, whether it's a day or a week from now, and you change your mind and decide to come back to the site and try the remedy, it may be too late. And I don't want you to have any regrets. Obviously, the choice is yours, but I believe you know what you need to do. With that said, I recommend you go ahead and click the Add to Cart button that you see below this video now and enter your payment information at the checkout page. I look forward to hearing about your results. I wish you all the best. I'm Ben Carter. Still here? I understand. The information I just shared with you is, shall we say, unconventional, and it definitely conflicts with what is touted in the medical field. Clearly, I can't force you to try this remedy, but what I can do is answer some of the most commonly asked questions so you can make an informed decision. The most common question I get is, how is it possible that the Navajo remedy can reverse hearing loss when everything you've read or heard, even from your family doctor, is that there isn't a cure? As I mentioned earlier, scientists have made great strides with their research in hair cells. They are looking for ways to regrow hair cells in the ears of humans as it happens naturally in many other animals like birds. But other experiments over many years have had positive results in restoring hearing. Most of this research has been buried and hidden, but it suggests that certain chemical compounds can heal and strengthen damaged or unhealthy hair cells and therefore restore hearing. Another big question that I get is, why haven't I heard of this before? As I mentioned in the presentation, the hearing device companies are outraged that I am even offering this information. I feel that if I keep a low profile, I will be able to continue to provide my book to people who are just looking for answers for a lot longer than if I am shouting it from the rooftops. Quite frankly, word of mouth is the best form of advertisement, and word of my website, book, and the Navajo Remedy is spreading. The next question I get a lot is, how does the Navajo Remedy work? As I mentioned earlier, inside your ear, there are these things called hair cells. They actually have nothing to do with hair, though. They're these small cells with protein-filled protrusions that bunch together like microscopic tufts of grass. These cells line one part of the cochlea, which is the snail-shaped structure in the inner ear. The hair cells turn sound wave vibrations into electrical nerve impulses, which travel into the cochlear nerve where these impulses are sent into the brain and processed as sound. Many kinds of hearing loss, including those that are age-related, congenital, or environmental, such as repeated exposure to loud noise or ear trauma, are actually due to loss of hair cells. Although, so far, no one has proven that hair cells can regenerate in humans, many scientists and researchers believe, as I do, that certain chemical compounds can and do in fact strengthen your existing hair cells and restore hearing. And there has been ample research to support this theory. Now you may be wondering what happens once you click Add to Cart button. Once you hit the Add to Cart button you see below this video, you will go to our triple encrypted and 100% secure checkout page. You just enter your payment information and that's it. 
And once you complete your checkout, you'll have instant access to the entire thing through the special members only section of the website that we've set up. You'll be able to open the book and access the Navajo Medicine Man Remedy Recipe. You can view them right on your computer, tablet, or smartphone, or download them or print out copies so you can take them with you. Another question you might be curious about is how long does it really take to get results? Fact is, it is going to vary quite a bit from one person to another, depending on the severity of their hearing loss. But generally, you can expect to see progress within a couple weeks. This book has now been shared with more than 33,000 people throughout the world, and the vast majority have experienced similar results as Sarah and my mother did. Another common question is, how does the guarantee work? Here's the thing. I want you to feel completely confident in your investment in my book, The Navajo Medicine Man Remedy That Will Reverse Your Hearing Loss, and The Navajo Remedy, that I'm providing you with a full 60-day 100% money-back guarantee. All you have to do is click the Add to Cart button below and download my book and use the remedy over the next 60 days. If you don't see positive results after four weeks, or at any time in the next 60 days, or if you're unsatisfied for any other reason whatsoever, simply send me an email to the address that I'll give you, and I will give you a 100% refund, no questions asked. Okay, only two more questions. How long will this book be available to the public? Well, I can't say for sure, but the legal pressure is building. The medical device companies are coming after me and anyone else who posts my remedy. And as I mentioned earlier, they are in the process of hitting me with a court injunction to get me to remove the site and stop offering Navajo Remedy. With that said, I know that time is running out and this window can close at a moment's notice. But just so you know, even when that happens, I will still stand by my guarantee, even if I am forced to close my site. So I guess what this boils down to is that if you're truly serious about improving your hearing and improving the quality of your life, you need to take action immediately. And that brings us to the final question. How can you take action and get the Navajo Medicine Man Remedy that will reverse your hearing loss book today? This is an easy one. All you have to do is simply click the Add to Cart button below the video and try out the Navajo Hearing Loss Restoration Remedy for 60 days with absolutely no risk. If you're unhappy for any reason, you'll be given a prompt refund. No questions asked. And like I mentioned in the presentation, against the advice of my accountant and lawyer, it's only 37 bucks. That's a heck of a lot cheaper than hearing aids or cochlear implant surgery. So click the Add to Cart button below, fill in your payment details, and submit your order. I look forward to hearing about your results.